Hey guys, it is Keisha from Keisha Knows Nothing or a little bit of something, just a teeny tiny bit of something. And today's video is all about items that I no longer spend money on and it has been saving me money. So these tips may be helpful for you. I hope that they are. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up the video as well. So let's get to it. The first item I want to mention is visiting the hairdresser. Now, I'm going to be 100% honest. I still go to the hairdresser, but not as often as I used to. Now, I only go about twice a year, and that is for a hair trim. And that is pretty much it. Um, Got to keep those ends healthy, you guys. So, I do go twice a year for that. But anytime else... I'm doing my hair myself most of the time. I have been tempted to go and have somebody else do my hair because you guys, you you know, you know, it can be such a pain trying to do your hair yourself. But there are so many YouTube videos out there from professionals and some who aren't professionals, but they are very gifted and talented. I think with COVID, it has made a lot of people turn to DIYing things and that includes their hair. So um, you can look into different videos and stuff like that for tips just to save yourself some money because going to the salon really adds up. I do appreciate hairdressers, I really do. But you know, if you wanna save a little money, you may wanna think of doing some things yourself. One thing you should consider when it comes to the hairdresser, if you feel like you absolutely cannot do it yourself, you should consider going to a cosmetology school to get your hair done. These senior students, students who are close to graduating, and they will be supervised by whoever their instructor is. So um, yeah, consider that if you wanna save money on going to the hairdresser, if you just absolutely feel like you cannot go any, you can't do it yourself you have to have someone do it. You can consider that and you can get a service done for half the price. Eyebrow waxing and shaping. Um, the eyebrow industry, I can't even believe I just said that, but yeah, the eyebrow industry has kind of taken off in the past five to 10 years. I mean, it's such a big thing now in the beauty world to have your eyebrows done. There's different ways you can wear your eyebrows, believe it or not. Um, so as with trends, things change. So anyway, um, but this is something that I personally, I stopped going and getting my eyebrows done years ago. And that's mainly because I never liked how they turned out. I never liked how they turned out when someone else did them. And I just said, you know what? I'm going to just have to do it on my own. Like I'll just have to figure it out on my own. And it wasn't even about saving money initially. It was just, I'd rather do it myself than to have someone else plucking or waxing or anything like that and then I don't like it and then I'm stuck with eyebrows that I don't like that are over plucked or whatever <laughs> nails um this one is a little I don't know it's a little iffy it just depends on how you like to wear your nails I per personally prefer to wear my nails short because I have a desk job I do a lot of typing I just prefer for functional sake to wear my nails short so I would go in and get you know, gel overlays and stuff like that on my nails. And uh, the last few times I went, it was just like I was getting them done and they were getting messed up right after. And that a lot of the time was due to the technician that I was going to. Um, she was very sweet, very nice, but she wasn't doing a good job. Now, of course, I could have just gone to somebody else, but it really made me think about, why don't I just get a gel kit myself? And just do that one time investment and then I can do my nails as many times as I want to. If they get messed up, that's on me. I can just redo them. So yeah, I went on Amazon, bought myself a whole gel kit with the UV light and everything and I got all kinds of colors and stuff like that. Total, it was probably 40, maybe 50 bucks, which is what I pay to get my nails done for one time. So um, yeah, like, it has been such a lifesaver for me. I've saved so much money since doing that. I did that sometime in early summer. And I'm, I'm telling you, I don't think I'm gonna go back because to me, it just saves so much time and so much money. Buying books. Um, this one is kind of, um, it, it just depends on what your preference is when it comes to book reading. Some people like old fashioned books. Some people are okay with reading things online. 
Um, if you are an old fashioned book person, you may want to consider just getting a library card and going to your public library and finding books. Um, this is so much easier than buying a book. Um, it saves you money. Just go get a library card and boom, there you go. If you're someone who prefers to read things on a tablet, you can consider getting a Kindle. A lot of times they will have books for free available on Kindle or at a discounted price. So you don't have to pay full price for it. Um, and you can get lots and lots and lots of books. You don't have to worry about any type of clutter or anything like that, and it'll save you money. So you may wanna consider that maybe getting a Kindle. Using coupons just because is, oh my goodness, <laughs> something I was so guilty at. Like, you know, you get those little penny saver ads sometimes in the mail. I don't even know how you get these things in the mail, but I guess the post office signs you up. I don't know, but you get these random coupons and things like that in the mail. And sometimes I would get them and look and be like, oh, that's a good deal. But it's not necessarily something I need but it's a good deal. So I would clip the coupons, put them in my purse. A lot of times they would go to waste, but a lot of times I would use them and I wouldn't need the item. I would just be buying it because it was a good deal. Um, this is also why I stopped using Ibotta. The Ibotta app allows you, it's pretty much a coupon app and um, they have a lot of different deals and options on there. And a lot of times I would see a good deal and it was an item that was not on my grocery list but it would be put on my grocery list because i had a coupon through ibotta you guys so unnecessary <laughs> just because you have a coupon just because you can get like a mail-in rebate or something like that doesn't mean you should get the item it just doesn't new debt for recurring new debt for recurring holidays and celebrations. And what this means is Christmas comes the same time every year. And so do your friends' birthdays, your mom's birthdays, your dad's birthdays. Like get a calendar out, write all this stuff down and budget accordingly. Like there's no reason why you should be going into massive amounts of debt just for Christmas and the holidays and stuff like that, birthdays, things like that, like plan ahead, make sure that you are budgeting ahead of time, allotting yourself enough time and money to get the things that you wanna get for people who you care about or for decorating your home for the holidays or for holiday vacations and trips. Like you don't need to get new debt, you know, putting all their money on. Don't put all of your expenses on your credit card um, for Christmas and things like that. Like you have to think smart. You have to budget ahead. Just get you a calendar that's specifically made or put it in your phone. Um, calendar items that are specifically made for your budget. And so you know ahead of time exactly how much money you need by X date so you can plan accordingly, you guys. You don't need to put yourself in harm's way debt-wise trying to get the best thing at the moment, get the nicest thing, the flashy thing, all of that stuff. It's just gonna cause you more headache in the future. Plan ahead, be smart, don't create new debt and new worries for yourself. And this item is cable. I think, I think most people know this by now, but cable is such an expensive thing that um, you really don't need to have anymore. But if you have internet service, you can find some sort of streaming service out there that you can stream your shows. There's Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO, Disney Plus. If you have internet service, just, you know, get you a fire stick or something like that, Apple TV, whatever and do it that way instead of cable because cable is so expensive. And for the longest time, they really had us in a vice where we just kind of had to, if you wanted to watch something other than eight channels, you kind of had to, you know, go through cable. And now that's not the case. That is my video, you guys. I hope that these tips or these options were helpful for you. If any of these help you, let me know down below. If you have your own tips about how to save money, Put those below, comment below, help somebody else out. Make sure you thumbs up the video, you guys. I appreciate you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.